You all right? Uh, no, my ankle's trapped. <laughs> nope. I'll be right back. Oh. Oh, ankle's trapped. Yeah, I'm on the way. I can still move everything. So I don't think anything's broken, but... So don't hurt yourself getting here, but I'm just kind of trapped. Okay. If uh, just I've relax. Got, I've got the weight of the bike. Hold on, before you touch anything, I've got the weight of the bike held by my foot, mm -hmm. but my foot's trapped, and every time I push it up, I like to get it back on the wheels, mm -hmm. it starts crushing my foot. Okay. I'm gonna grab the bars. Okay. And gently bring it up. <laughs> Stand by, stand by. Oh, stop, 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 stop. That's the shock. The shock is right on top of my foot. Okay, let me get a look at it. All right. All right, got it, got it, got it. Oh, damn it. I whiskey throttled when I hit that rock. Yeah, I was gone before I hit that one. I'll get on the other side here. Oh, oh, break. Got the break. Son of a gun. All right, well, let's have a look around here. This looks all right. Some of what I'm seeing is the water that we rode through. The freaking rock. So. I could tell you exactly what I did. I took the wrong path through. You can see I went high. Yep. I went down into that. There's a a big rock, you know, like size of a car rock. I hopped up on that. I did fine, and I thought I was good, so I gave it a little bit of gas, and I hit that big one that comes right after it. The bike started to go sideways, and I thought, shift my weight, shift my weight. And then by that point, I hit this second rock, that big, that one that jut right there. Yep. I hit that, and the front wheel came up, <laughs> and it was all over but the crying after that. No, I'm going to do it. I got to overcome this. Yeah, I see that. This is such a beautiful ranch. No, that, that ranch is private property. That's why it's still all fenced off. They still do uh, ranching on it. Whew. Well, YouTube, as you saw just a little bit ago, <laughs> I had my first and hopefully only spill of the trip. And if it went by too fast for you, I'll, I'll be sure to put it up at the end. <laughs> something hmm. 
shed is picturesque. Good morning, YouTube. Uh, bouncing back from a little mishap on the dirt stuff. And uh, we're headed out to find one of our first ghost towns for the day. And what you're looking at right here, no, we didn't travel to another country, merely another county. Green, as far as the eye can see. It almost looks like one of those Microsoft screensavers absolutely beautiful a little bit windy but the temperatures perfect right now high deserts of Arizona we're just outside of Sonoida all the vineyards and, and wine growers out here this is really a unique place not what you typically think of when you see Arizona <laughs> I'm riding here with uh, doing a little dual vlog with AZ Desert Dog and uh, you guys know we went out on a little camping trip together here and we're coming up on uh, our first ghost town of the day because uh, you guys if you if you watch his videos at all you know he likes to take you out on the ghost towns and see the interesting sights that no one gets to see so here we are in the back roads of uh, south southeastern Arizona. We're approaching Fairbanks on the San Pedro River. So as I've pointed out before to a lot of my viewers, you can always tell when you're approaching a place that still has some water in it. And you see these big booming trees looming over the high desert landscape. You know there's water in the ground. This will be the San Pedro River. That's yeah, still a little bit of water down there. So I think the ghost town's going to be right over here. And it runs along the bridge that we're getting ready to cross is a now defunct uh, Southern Pacific Railroad line that used to haul copper and mining ore up from Bisbee and Tombstone. There it is. I believe this is our ghost town, but we got to go past it to get to it. Fairbanks Historic Downside. And like, uh, and like so many of these towns, you know, they all existed right along the railroad. And they all existed because of mining. So it's interesting, this one just happens to be in a place where you can get to it by road. But there are a lot of ghost towns around here that you can only get to on the old rail bed. Uh, that would be a trip for your WR. <laughs> well, here we are at Fairbanks. Got the bikes tucked in. Easy desert dog. I'm willing to bet this picture he's taking right now is going to show up on Instagram. <laughs>
Didn't it, dude? <laughs> Very clear. Barn or something. Well, I don't know. There's a counter over there. It almost looks like a, maybe it had been a trading post or something. There is a Miller sign on the other side. You picked up this corrugated metal. We use that for everything out here. And Miller High Life. Play Rod one more time. Name that movie. <laughs> Blues Brothers. Hey, you were supposed to name it. That was for the people watching the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have a live audience. Boy, have we come a long way. It's nice of them to build his and hers in here. Part of the adventure. I didn't cry like a girl, I don't think. Nope, there was a lot of... Ah, oh. <laughs>